welcome to Leap Taken. Here at Leap Taken, I talk about all things witchy, craft-related, law of attraction, manifesting, esoteric, and everything else in between. And we're going to set up um, my weekly page. I'm going to show you a printable that I was able, digital uh, printable from Etsy. The link will be in the description, as well as some stickers that I also got from Etsy. And I'm going to be using some stickers that I got from Inked Goddess Creation and another Etsy download. So we've got a little hodgepodge of different items. So I'm just going to jump right into it. This is my little marker, this full cart. <laughs> so I'm going to get right into it before I get into um, decorating. I want to just uh, start laying down the numbers. I'm going to start with that instead. So I've been trying to decide which color should go because these are darker so i'm thinking the red might go it's a nice look right yeah i'm going through it <laughs> so i think i'm gonna do the gift boxes because these are just too cute to not do so i'm gonna do that so i think this time i'm gonna put it over here on the right we're gonna mix it up a little bit do something just a tad different Let's get into some witchy talk about stopping time. <laughs> I don't know if we can stop time, but we can have the, well, okay, well, let's, let's get into this conversation, okay? Because I'm, I'm working on plans and calendars and, you know, goal setting right now. I'm in a reflective mood as well. So do we not all agree time is an illusion? I mean, time is something we've made up. Time itself. I had someone a while ago, this is a while ago, argue, well, that's not true. Time has always existed. And I said, really, in what capacity? We developed it as this, us humans. Like, what? And the person was like, well, when the sun rises and sets, that's time. I was like, no, that's the sun rising and setting. That's not time. To measure the units in between the sun rising and setting is that measurement is time. And they just looked at me like I had two heads. But I understand what they, what they were technically trying to say, too. So, But time is, is a man-made construct. It's an illusion. Um, we're using this washi. A combination of this. This is a darker green, and I just love this washi. I've had this for some time. And the thing about it is, I don't know why I haven't used it more often. Like... I really should have been using this washi and I don't get my jam. I don't, I don't get it. I think I buy so much stuff. I forget. Well, this is crooked, but we're just going to rock with it. Anyway, I buy so much stuff. I legit, 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 legit forget what I buy. Like I forget about my stash and I'm going to tell you this. I'm not going to go into, oh, I'm going to do better next year. I'm not going to buy a bunch of stuff. Yes, I am. I'm just going to do better about organizing and remembering. I'm still going to buy all the stuff. I don't. <laughs> I want it all. I don't care. <laughs> and um, more. Oh, isn't this a cue card? I got this from uh, which box? I think it was the witch's group. It's like an oracle card. It just says peace and stillness. The answer will be revealed. I like to keep this on my desk. I love the message. I just love the card. It's simple and I like it. So I keep this on my desk and now we use it to cut washi. Um, there are ways in magic that since time is an illusion, well, why can't we play with the illusion, right? Why can't we, um, I don't want to put this here. I want to put this up here. Anyway, why can't we mess with that a little bit? So you can do all kinds of charms. You can speak time altering charms to maybe either make time drag on or to make time speed up. Remember, when you're doing magic like this, like that, it's not about whether it works or not. It's about the illusion. Because if time's an illusion, the illusion is it, you believe it's worked. So if you feel like, you know what, I kind of feel like time really did slow down, then it worked. If you felt like it sped up, then it worked. If you felt like nothing happened, okay, keep trying. Maybe you need to get better at this. You need to believe it. You need to believe that you are having some sort of effect. Now, I'm going to tell you this. this is kind of like a placebo effect type situation. It doesn't matter if it really works or not. That's not the point. As long as you feel like it worked. 
That's all that matters. Because if you felt like you have mastered it, then you have had some sort of, you, you know, you feel like, you know, it worked and you, in your mind, you have proof because you felt like time really did speed up or slow down, whatever your intention was. And whatever the purpose was for you doing so, um, oh no, you see, <laughs> why me? How am I going to do this? I, well, apparently I have been using it. Let's see if I can rip this up without it being an issue. I can't even use my nail to get this up. So I'll just put this here because actually this isn't even sticking. <laughs> Ah, woe is me. My problems. These are, you know, if you're going to have problems, these are the problems to have. I'm going to switch gears and I'm going to use this other garland-like washi instead. And it'll just be a little mismatch. I really liked this over here and with this here, but I ran out. And I knew I had a bunch of Christmas washi, so I was like, oh, don't buy. I'm trying to shop my stash because I have a stash. I remember when I first started getting into like paper crafts and planning. I can't even figure this out. These are actually two different things. I'm just going to use this anyway. I remember getting into like all this sort of stuff and I would watch YouTube and I would see all these people and I was like, they have an endless supply of like stuff. How are they doing? Like, man, they must spend so much money. And I mean, probably, but <laughs> they didn't get it all. Well, most times you don't buy it all at one time you know it's over time um you have the item so over time i've collected quite the collection of like you know using points and stuff like at michael's and it, it there are ways there are ways that you start to build up your stash so let me get into some new pens that i purchased this i got these from the daily grind the um label is off but these are daily grind pens and I tested some of them out and I like them a lot, but because I'm trying to match some of this and it's got a lot of like dark colors, I think I'm going to go with this dark blue, but mostly I already got, I feel like I got red popping. So this is going to keep like a blue black, but it's cool. It's fine. So I'm going to write in the days. Okay, so we have the days written in, the dates next to it, which I think this looks really cute so far. Quite frankly, I could just stop here. If I was the type of person who did that, I'm not. So we're going to keep going. We're going to add some stickers. So I had a false start with these. Well, you're, I'm going to show you something. I printed this. This is glossy. I don't know what that's about. It Oh, because it cut here. So I use my Cricut for this. Anyway, so I used my, um, as I'm trying to talk, I used my Cricut for this and I used a different paper the very first time. It was a matte finish. This is like a, a vinyl printer sticker paper that I'm using here. Anyway, it was disastrous results. I have got to place an order on Amazon most likely and order some sticker paper um like a matte vinyl I don't even know if that makes sense but I'm gonna go try to find it it's it's like a um you know like your regular sticker paper you would like get it off uh staples or office max or whatever is office max the whole thing anyway that type paper eight and a half by eleven yeah, the, it, my Cricut does not like that paper. I'm going to put this here. My Cricut, it just, when it goes to cut, like you see here, it, there's some out, I don't know if you can see, it's like some outlines, but it just cuts entirely through the paper. And I have like had default settings, light touch, it doesn't matter. It just cuts all the way through. And I don't know what the deal is with that, but what ends up happening is, you it's the paper sticks to the Cricut pad that you use. I don't have the newest one where you don't need a pad anymore. Anyway, it was it was a pain in the butt, but I ended up using it because I had a printing debacle. You'll see later. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can over here, okay? I'm doing the best I can. So here's the thing about all of what I'm getting into though. Please understand. 
this is just a silly little thing. I'm just some paper craft, something that brings me joy. But um, a lot of us, like a lot of people get stressed around this time of year. I used to. This year, I am so easy breezy. Like, I can't believe how easy going I am right now. <laughs> like, I feel like, who is this girl? Like, who is she? She is like so cool. She's like chill. She's not like freaking out, you know, about, uh oh, I'm just going to cover the date. I'm going to cut it because I do want it. I'm going to, I want this like a celebratory day. Oh, well, but that was about, but anyway. I'm like really easy going. I am not freaking out about the many changes that keep happening around um, the holidays, like people not being here that I thought would be here and events not coming together like I thought they would come together. <laughs> and old Mika might have might have might have went through something might have taken to my bed over that like an older victorian woman i would have taken to my bed and i do do that that's like a real thing if i get really upset i just go to my room i send myself to my room but instead i'm taking it all in stride and it's not like i don't want to say things don't bother me because that's definitely not true it's just that at this point, I'm like, you know what? Every It's all temporary. Um, it won't stay this way. I'll have other opportunities or this other thing will happen. Like, I'm just not, I'm just not going through it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing is getting me down um, like that. So I am very grateful. And I, I don't know what it is about this year. It just feels like a holiday season of things just being different, a little bit more chill, a little bit more calm. Um, it's cold here. Cold is relative. Don't laugh at me. It's like the high was like 70 today. <laughs> but at night, it gets down into the 40s. That's legit cold. So like, I know to when I say this to some people, they're like, what is she talking about? 70 degrees is not cold. To us people in Arizona, it's been a few years. I'm like an Arizona person now. I can speak on it. It is, it's, it feels cold to us. So there's that. But anyway, so like I'm saying to myself, you know, with this cold, it just, I just feel like everything, I don't know, something about the cold weather makes me feel like just calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> like nothing is that serious. And even if it is, it could be worked out. Um, I know there are pressing issues in the world and things like that, but I can only handle what is in my purview, what is, you know, in my face right now. <laughs> um, I can, you know, light a candle. I can send healing energy, protective energy. And I, I do those things. But outside of that, I cannot take on the world's problem and internalize that. So I remind myself of this, like, hey, 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 just slow down, you know, enjoy what's in front of you. Enjoy the simple luxuries that you have. Um, you know, that is how you do things. Uh, denying yourself pleasures, denying yourself um, even rest and relaxation or just joy because you feel like, well, there's so many other people in the world suffering. That's not it. That's not the way. Um, actually, your partaking in the joys in your life is actually more respectful than to being denied because other people are being denied. It doesn't make it better because you're doing that as well. It makes it worse because the universe is providing you an opportunity in this moment for joy. I mean, we don't know what tomorrow may bring. Tomorrow you might be crying. So now, you know, be in a space did that come off? Is on my nail? Did I mess this up? I think I messed it up. Did I crush it? I don't even understand where this star went. I think it's stuck on my nail. Oh, I messed that up. It was little. I should have used the tweezers. I don't even know where is it is. Is it on my nails? Aren't these cute little nails though? They have the um. It's like my. I'm calling them my Christmas nails. Anyway, I don't know what happened to the sticker. If you see it on camera and it fell, I I don't know where. 
I'll circle back to it, but I was just trying to add a couple little stars here. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm easy breezy. Real easy breezy right now. <laughs> not letting anything get me too much in a tizzy. It can, but I'm not letting it. <laughs> I'm choosing peace. That's what I'm doing. Where did I want to put this? I think I want to add this just a little bit here. Because the winter solstice starts, for some people it's the 22nd, some people 21st. So, you know, like at night on the 21st going into the 22nd is when the winter solstice starts or Yule. So that's why I'm kind of playing up Thursday and Friday more. But isn't this exciting? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this time of year. Regardless of like, you know, my personal crazy that I've got under wraps this year, I always was still like joyful, like in the midst of it all. And when I mean like calming down and not being crazy, <laughs> I'm really meaning like me with like, I get a little wound tight about the holidays as far as like from a hosting point of view and like with my kids, even though they're adults, I'm like, oh, they gotta, we gotta do this, we gotta do it this way, we gotta do that. Like I get a little, like real, like <laughs> I'm trying to speak about myself in a kind way, but I get a little crazy. I'll just, just, just know that I get a little crazy. So I'm doing my best to um, acknowledge I'm a little bit of a crazy person, and then not be that crazy at the same time. <laughs> oh, look at this. Not retrograde again. <laughs> it is, unfortunately, but I'm going to put this sticker here because it's funny and I'll look at it and laugh because not retrograde again. We are full swing, guys. Uh, Mercury went retrograde on the 13th. So hopefully you knew that <laughs> you're and this isn't a surprise to you hearing that information. But you know what? It's OK. Oh, 100% sarcasm. Yeah, that's me. Um, hopefully you're cool and like you're not having, you know, too many side effects from it. At the end of the day, it is, you can use this as an opportunity. I don't believe it's something to be feared, but to each their own. And then some people really play it up. Listen, they're, I've had some computer issues, some weird stuff happen. And, um, I, you know, I live to tell. I live to tell about it. It's, it's, it's okay. It's okay if you're thrown off a little bit. The key is just kind of being prepared. And um, I kind of like that in the middle. This, I love that I did this because it just gives me an opportunity to do stuff like this. And I kind of like this going around. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I like it. Anyway, but I, um, I'm thinking like 50 million thoughts at the same time. One, because I'm actually, when I'm planning, this is me. So I'm talking, I should start doing voiceovers because it probably would be more cohesive if I did. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like when I'm doing, sitting, I'm sitting here doing this, I am literally thinking, I'm trying to keep a conversation and I'm trying to actually think about my week. Now for January, I'm going to start doing this thing where I have like a list first of like everything I want to accomplish or something like that. So I think I'm going to start doing like a list. I might create a page or add one of like my note pages or something. I've really just been a homebody. I thought I would go outside to do a couple different things, but I only went out really once, like outside of, you know, responsible things I had to go do. But for the most part, I just stayed in the house most like this weekend and the week before, <laughs> I didn't really feel like going anywhere. And the season is poorly that I would normally want to resist this feeling, but instead I'm just like, no, let it happen. Let it happen. Be, be warm and cozy in your house. <laughs> uh, be comfortable. And my house is decorated so pretty and so nice. And I'm like, why are you trying to leave such a warm, comfortable environment? Sit yourself down and enjoy. I am loving these stickers, by the way. I am loving these stickers. This is, again, the Ink Goddess creation. 
um, stickers that I got. I picked these up. I actually met the owners. I told you guys about this before, and I also posted it to like TikTok and Instagram for Leap Taken. And she was so nice. And that's part of the reason I bought a bunch of stuff. Like they had to, we were at a tarot convention and all the stuff was laid out. They were just so nice. Like if you're nice to me, I'm like, yeah, here, just take my money. I'm cool. Here, just take the money. <laughs> just take my card. Here you go. Just charge me up. <laughs> So if you, there is a convention near Phoenix, Arizona, and you are someone who is going to be there running, let me know. I'll come through. I will buy things because clearly that's who I am. I'm someone who just, if it's cute and you're nice, I'm, I'm getting it. All right. So I think I'm just about done with the stickers. I think. And I used a lot of the Ink Goddess Creation stickers when, if you saw my video of my witchy room tour, I used a lot for the purposes of, um, I don't want to use this December. I don't know. I, I know it's December, but I just want to see it on here. I think it's going to look cute. I just want that extra thing up here. Call me crazy. I just, I want all the stickers for some reason to the, uh, this week. I forgot what I was going to say. I told y'all I'm a little unhinged. I've been caffeinated. I've had a little bit of sugar. I had decent sleep. So I'm at full Mika right now. <laughs> you're getting you're getting full on Mika of leap taken. I'm trying to decide if I need I think this is okay. Um these are just so pretty these stickers, right? And I think it's called like the dark winter or something like that. And I really like that. I wanted a little bit of that on here. I'm trying to think of like something in this box. Um, I think I'm going to use this. Oh, well, I'm almost done because I cannot wait to show you guys what I downloaded from Etsy. All right. I'm trying not to rip this. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So we'll put that here. So this is this week's or upcoming week's pages. I'm really loving the warm and cozy vibe, the Yule log, everything. I love it. So let me show you the next thing. So. I freaking plan this. So I've decided, first of all, can we talk about the cover art? I got this off of Etsy. It's so inexpensive, by the way. I laminated the page because it was just too cute not to. So hopefully this is not coming across overly shiny and weird and you can't see. But anyway, so I'm going to flip through. Um, the Yule Correspondences page. And even to Winter Solstice, December 20th, 21st or the 22nd. You see? Um, I love this so much. So I decided I wanted to turn my catch-all planner, which is this. This will continue to be used in 2024. I'm just going to print out more of my planner and add it to it. And if you didn't know, the planner I just decorated is my planner. Um, it is one of the best planners I've ever used because the spacing is a bit unusual, is a little larger, well, depending if how you print it. But it's enough space for me to write in to still use all of my stickers. I have all those extra boxes so I can add additional notes, reminders, and so forth, appointments. So I love my planner. I love it printed out specifically on eight and a half by 11 because it affords me so much space, but I use my same planner for my uh, content creation um, planner as well, or social media planner, whatever you want to call it. It's really a content creation because that's where I write my notes. But moving on, let's get into this Etsy purchase. So we have this here. It's quite a few pages. So a holly berry oil recipe. Um, there are so many things here. So we have a holly berry spell. And let's talk about the ingredients. I won't read everything, but I just want to tell you some things. Holly berry oil, which you just saw, dried cedar, pine or fir, square of paper, red pen or marker, red or green candle, heat proof container. And then they give you the uh, rest of the spell. I love the way this looks. 
This is so pretty. It is so festive. And this is something I get to keep year round, you know, into the next year. But this is my book where I was going to say this is my book of shadows planner, catch all planner. So like as I learn things and um, witchy related, uh, if I see a spell in a book and I want to copy it, I have notes pages, but also like for like my high holidays and things like that. Um Sabbaths box. <laughs> I will put that in here. I already recorded my new moon and full moon intentions as well. But yeah, this is it. So let's get to through the rest of the pages. So we have um, the Yule incense recipe and then a Yule oil recipe. And this is so, first of all, the artwork is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. And I love it. 12 days of Yuletide. I am like so impressed with this. I cannot express to you, like, this is beautiful. I hope to get to a point where I'm making things like this, but in the meantime, I will be consuming it like everybody else, but I love this. Um, look, on the first day of Yuletide, the goddess sent to me a pentacle in a pear tree. On the second day of Yuletide, my goddess sent to me two wise owls and a pentacle in a pear tree. On the third day of Yuletide, the goddess sent to me three moons of rising, two wise owls, and a pentacle in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Yuletide, the goddess sent to me four quarters calling, three moons of rising, two wise owls, and a pentacle in a pear tree. I could go on, but I'm not. <laughs> but you get the gist. Is this not so? I love this so much. Anyway. Yule bird treats. So if you want to do something for the birds out, glow wine recipe. I'm actually genuinely interested in this. So let's do this. So you have, um, I think this says three, yeah, three fourths cup of water, half a cup of white sugar, two cinnamon sticks, one orange, two star anise, 20 whole cloves, um, one bottle of red wine, optional cardamom, vanilla, ginger, blanched almonds, and raisins. This sounds delicious. <laughs> I would be adding the vanilla for sure. Or to, and the cardamom, I like that. But this sounds like so good. 12 Herb Yule Sachet. The Pagan Yule Tree. Like, I love the illustrations and the font. Like, the color. This is perfect. Um, Solstice Eve Peace Prayer. Yule Tree Cutting Ritual. Yule Tree Blessing Ritual. Winter solstice spell. Let's look at this. So dried sage herb, frankincense and myrrh, essential oils, parchment paper, dragon's blood ink, and quill or pen with red ink, fireproof, fireproof cauldron or bowl. Okay, I could do this. I have all these things. <laughs> Don't you love just, if, if you're watching this, then you have like a sash, like of all this stuff, like whatever witchy stuff, um, paper craft stuff. You know, you're just someone who has a lot of things, just odds and ends. Um, and you can look at like a recipe or a spell and it's like, oh, wait, I have all those things. It's not like the coolest feeling. Um, it took, I remember once, I, I can't tell you enough, like I'm in a reflective mood when I really wanted to be someone who had all the things. And I do. It's so funny. So we have the symbols of Yule. Bells, candles, peppermint, mistletoe, ornaments, plum pudding, <laughs> snowflake. Oh, and then we have a story here. Oh, this is just nice. The Yule Fairies, a winter solstice story. Oh, this is so sweet. So let's talk about what happened. So I had a printing debacle. <laughs> and I told you about the stickers that I had, kind of like the ones I just used. So these are those stickers that I printed on like a matte finish. And I just put it here because... It skipped a page and went to the next one. So this is my printing debacle. But it's like cute, right? It still fits. So anyway, you if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't even know what was going on. But anyway, here's the rest of the story. The illustrations are just so pretty. And I was going to take um, a brown uh, oil paint marker thing I have. And I was going to just color her in, make her a little browner because I do stuff like that. <laughs> um, but I was like, the artwork is so pretty and I just kind of like the way it looks. I'm going to leave it alone. I like to change if like, if I have, is there like fairies or if it's not inclusive, I will make it look inclusive. I like to look back and I see someone who looks something like me. 
Um, it's just a thing I like to do. But I left this alone because it's just as is, is just gorgeous. A Yule House Blessing spell. I'm definitely into this for sure. Yule Meditation. Now, let me tell you, I wanted to um, order. Oh, this is a lot. I wanted to order. What's her? I can't remember the uh, Etsy shop. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I was going to order. Um, something and they were going to print it out on paper for me, but I didn't want to wait. I'm like, I can't, I just, I want my, I want what I want now. And I have all the things I have different, I have parchment paper that can look aged. I could have printed this out on this, but I kind of, you know, I want it to fit the aesthetic of the overall planner. But so I was so happy to find this because what I wanted looked a little bit more, you know, it looked just as good as this, except they were going to print it for me. So I was like, you know what? When I saw this, I was like, oh, this is happening. But you have a Yule ritual here. So for the ritual, they want white, red, gold, and black candle, cookies or cakes, and wine or juice, <laughs> sprig of holly, a sprig of pine, incense, four votive candles. Hmm. I may have to check this out a little bit more. Meditation. Oh, this is all within a ritual. This is oh, this is a lengthy ritual. Oh, look, we get a set a spread, a old tarot spread. By the way, I did not go through every single page before I watched this, and when I purchased it, I kind of just reviewed it. So I really just took a a gamble with this. So I'm flipping through, discovering this with you. Um, what do my ancestors want me to know? What should I uh, celebrate? What is the best direction for me to take and what can I let go of? Great. A Yule wishing powder, ways to honor Yule. I only have 20 items. Oh, excuse me, 27. <laughs> oh, and they have a planner here. Oh my God, this is so cute. Set your intentions, your altar setup, the colors. I will use this. Um, words of power, DD notes, potions. Uh, invocations and prayers, potions, oils, and brews, and then the ritual set. Like it's a check off. Oh, this is awesome. Observation. So this is so cool because I'm actually going to be doing a Yule ritual. So this is perfect. Crafts, divination, all for gratitude. Look at this notes. And then there's a shopping list. So this is the final page. And then we're back to the planner. But is this not adorable? This is adorable. This is so pretty. Like the artwork alone is everything. <laughs> so I'm just going to flip back to the page I worked on and we're going to wrap up here. I still have other planners to work on, but that's okay. I enjoy doing this. <laughs> Why am I saying that's okay? Like it's a bad thing. I have other planners I'm going to update, but I'm not going to have you guys sit through all of those. Um, I think I really recovered over my washi incident. This might've been my, uh, my last reason, but it's okay. I'm good. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no, I'm like super chill. I'm so happy for where, for, I've been doing a lot of work this year, more to come on that. And hopefully, you know, if you're trying to get to a point where you're a little less, you know, manic and crazy, um, keep watching because <laughs> I'm going to get into that for the next year. And then of course, this beautiful uh, printable for Yule, which I didn't even think to look on Etsy for. I was there for the stickers and I ended up with this. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for watching. This is Mika, Leap Taken. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Consider hitting the join button to join Leap Taken membership. Also, head over to leaptaken.com. Check out the services that I offer. I'm uh, doing for the full month of December a 30% off coupon. Uh, the coupon code is Winter Solstice 23. You can use that for 30% off of any service that I offer again over at leaptaken.com. And I just appreciate you all. Merry, merry Yule. Happy Winter Solstice. Bye.